Welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial on this channel and in this video I'm going to show you the simplest way to create this animated SMS Apple message. I also created a preset for you so you can just download it but I will give you the information for the download at the end of the video. So the first thing you have to do is put a fusion composition into your timeline and give it maybe a bit length and then we will enter this fusion composition in the fusion tab. So now the first thing we're going to do is to add a background just to have something to work with. So we're gonna put alpha to zero so we have transparent background and then then we're gonna add merge node. The first thing we're going to do before we do anything with animating like in 3D space is to recreate the message. For this I just did a screenshot on my iPhone and send it to myself. So we can see I have here a message, it's German and the thing we're going to do is to rebuild this in Fusion. So actually this is very very simple because we can see here two objects. The first object is just a rectangle with rounded corners and the second object is this little thing here. So the first thing we're going to do is add some other merge nodes here to create this into one object and then we're going to add a background. We give this background at first a mask to have space here to give the background the color of the message. We just click here and we have the exact color of the message. Next step is you can uh, move your rectangle back and then we're going to try to recreate the message. So actually we're going to make this a little bit bigger because we don't want such a small message and then we can start by putting a bit down the alpha so we can see through and see what we are doing and now we can move this up and place this at the center. We adjust the height then also the width. It doesn't have to be perfect but I think we can also make this message a little bit longer like this uh, but it's important that we kept the right side on here because we also have to recreate this little thing here and now we have to put corner radius on the maximize because we can see these are completely round corners. We already have the perfect box of the message and you can see it would it would look like perfect but we now have to recreate the thing here. For this we just duplicate this background over here and take a polygon and now we can just go here and put a mask like this and then we can delete this image actually and you can see now we have a message we see here's a little mistake but we can fix this easily and now you can see we have like a perfect or nearly perfect if there's any like not smooth we can just curl give it a bit of a curve probably like this and we can delete this one and then we can see we have a really good message here. The next step is to add another merge node which will contain the message so we can just go here and give this a message which will say hi Da Vinci. Next step is to make it a little bit bigger and then just move it into its place so that it fits. And now we can see we have a pretty good message and the next step is we could do like mirror the whole thing but then the text would be wrong so we just have from here if you want to mirror it just adjust the text like yeah it won't be a problem we could just use this here and uh, mirror this here and then we move it over and then we have it into the other direction. So we use this for, for our case here. Now we want to create this nice scene view. You can see you may, maybe have seen in other edits or from After Effects or something. So to do this, we actually put this off. You can do this by just selecting everything, holding shift and take one node out. And then we're going to take a renderer 3D and connect this into the merge node. Take a merge 3D, connect it right here and take a camera 3D. So we go into the merge node 3D, press 1 and okay, we can see we have it on our other screen here. And um, you can see we have nothing inside. So to change this, we're going to use an image plane 3D, which you put into here and you can see already it's displayed. So we select our camera and move it a bit outwards so we can see it actually in the media out. And to have this now displayed, we just move it over here and connect this into the image plane. And now we can see we have this message here. And now we can just transform here or we can use a transform 3D. And now we can make this message look really cool. We can use other objects and more messages and probably we want to use a white background. So for this we uh, just add the background here because the background doesn't have to be in 3D space. 
and now it looks already better so like we maybe also want to add a drop shadow and reduce the distance and then you can see we have already created a beautiful layout so you might add multiple messages so we can just copy this whole part here and put it in again like so we copy also the transform and then just move it up a bit like this so we can make this even a bit longer and move it over here like so and type a longer text and put this text a bit over so it fits into the message and now you can see we've created really nice messages in 3d space and i'm also going to create for you a macro tool which is just one note but you can create your text messages with it so for this i'm going to put it into the description this will probably take a few days and if it's out i'm going to upload another tutorial where i explain this tool and also put it into this description so if you don't want to miss it out subscribe to my channel and i hope i could help you with this tutorial